Hey up my ducks, it's Simon here. Um, firstly, just to say happy Lunasad to all my pagan friends. And of course, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, then happy Imolk to you um, too. Um, it's a beautiful day, so first day of harvest um, for us. And yeah. Finish work a little bit early, um, two days to go and I break up for two and a half weeks, so really excited. Got a couple of things um, arrived and um, this one I'm really, really excited about and this came yesterday, but last night I wasn't at home. I stayed out, dirty stop out, I stayed out last night because um, I went to the, I mentioned it, the evening of medium ship and I stayed over at my friend's pub. So. I've had to wait since nine o'clock yesterday morning till this evening to um, have a look in. I've been resisting the urge because I wanted to open it with you guys and unbox it with you. First, I've got a book as well. Um, I hadn't bought a book for this month, for July, um, but I saw this particular book when I went to the Mind, Body, Spirit uh, show on Sunday. And if you do watch that video, the first one, you'll see that I pick it up on camera and have a look at it. And I put it back down. I didn't buy it. And then, later that evening, as these things happen, synchronicity, serendipity, however you want to call it, fate, um, Jules at the Cosmic Arcana reviewed this book along with another one by the same author. And the book is... Tarot for All Seasons, um, which is quite interesting as today is Lunar Sard, isn't it? Um, yeah, so this is by Christine Jett, and she does have another book that I'd love to get, which is Tarot for Shadow Work, or Shadow Work Tarot, um, but it's out of print, and oh, I looked on, on Sunday and some copies are fetching like £400, which is just insane. Um, but it may come back round in print, who knows. But um, yeah, and I looked at this one, and I, as I say, I put it back down. So it's Tarot for All Seasons, celebrating the days and nights of power. Honour the rites of the old ways as you deepen your connection to the goddess through the archetypal images of the tarot. Tarot for All Seasons shows you how to work with the magic of the tarot as you celebrate the turning of the wheel of the year. Part spell book, part ritual guide, this book includes 12 unique tarot layouts for the waxing full and waning moons and the eight solar festivals of the wheel of the year. Delve into the history, mystery and lore of the esbats and sabbats as you explore tarot spreads that capture the symbolism of energy of each holiday. And then it says at the bottom, Written for those with a basic or an advanced knowledge of tarot, this book invites you to explore your talents and gifts through the tarot as you evoke the divine feminine in her triple aspects of maiden, mother and crone. Oh, and Christine Jett from Ohio is a registered nurse and holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in psychology. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to... Um, having a read of that and working through the seasons with the tarot so I just wanted to share that with you this I'm so excited about how do you get in oh, on the edge here um, if you've watched my videos over the last few days you'll know that this is coming anyway because um, I did mention it and I have been working this past month with the Osho Zen Tarot, which, as I've mentioned, I absolutely love. I love this um, tarot deck. And whilst in live chat with Kelly at the Truth and Story on Saturday, um, she mentioned an oracle that was by the same artist and spoke very highly of this tarot. In fact, not to misquote, I hope I'm not misquoting, I think Kelly said that if she only had one oracle, um, she would probably want 
to work with this one or words to that effect um, and it is the Dal Oracle so M Diva Padma is the artist um, and I just absolutely love his artwork in the um, in the tarot Osho Zen Tarot so I just know that I will like um, like these I did ask Kelly if she'd done a, a walkthrough video of this and she, she said she has but I just haven't had a chance to have a look so actually which is quite unusual for me I've only seen a handful of these cards which were shown on that night so I've not gone to anybody's um, anybody's channel and had a look at a full unboxing or, or walkthrough. I will do a full uh, walkthrough as part of the unboxing because I, I do like to um, see all the cards. So lovely box, really nice hard back box, a bit like um, a Blue Angel kind of box, only larger. Um, yeah, and that's the back. It's very nice and sturdy. And it says, the Tao Oracle, created by a critically acclaimed artist, Mardiva Padma, is a brilliantly illuminated and illuminating tool for transformation and personal growth. It is a simple, prophetic and profound source of guidance for the new millennium. The Tao Oracle is a new expression of the timeless wisdom of the I Ching. It reminds us that the laws that govern the natural world apply to us as well. This approach encourages awareness of change, the very heartbeat of life itself, which enables us to make intelligent choices in tune with life's changes. The Tao Oracle works in support of mediation, sorry, in support of meditation and self-awareness. It puts us in touch with the Tao at the Tao. I always want to say Tao. <laughs> that silent guiding force that is for the greater than ourselves in its wisdom, support and sustaining capacity. Okay, so let's have a look in. So, yeah, strong, strong, sturdy box. Nice, wow, nice, thick book. That's a lovely book. It's the same sort of style as the um, only the tarot one is a little bit smaller, as you can see, and a lot thinner. So, um, gorgeous book. The images are in black and white. I have both versions of the um, Osho Zen Tarot. I've got the black and white book and the colour book as well, because um, I've got it by two different publishers. Wow, so there is uh, 321 pages. You get such a lot of information. Wow. So <laughs> you get acknowledgements as well as the introduction, a section about the cards, the octagon symbol, what is Tao, the dynamics of yin and yang, consulting the Tao Oracle, accessing the changes, the 64 aspects of the Tao Oracle, you get card layouts, you get about the author, suggested reading and bibliography, the Tao Oracle chart, and then you get 64 cards, so an interpretation of all 64 cards. So things like the creative, the receptive, difficulty in the beginning, waiting, conflict, discipline. And then right through to uh, 63 and 64, completion and before completion. So oh, I can't believe how thick that book is. That's a great um, guidebook. Okay, that is what you get on the inside. Am I still recording? Yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. So you get this insert which, which also pulls out. So it's a two-part box with this 
plastic insert. Cards are a nice size. Um, there's the backs. Uh, what would it be similar to in size? Probably this is the good tarot. It's quite a large size, so it's just a little bit bigger than the good tarot. Okay, so a little bit bigger than the good tarot. So quite a, a decent size compared with its cousin, the um, Yosha Zen tarot, which are quite small really for cards, but a nice, nice shape. So let's have a look at the cards. 64 is a decent number as well, isn't it? Oh, that didn't. That didn't help. Okay. Nice feel, nice matte cards. Card stock is, is pretty good. It's not the strongest, but certainly not the flimsiest. Imagine it makes it really nice to shuffle. I love the feel of them. They feel really, really nice. So let's let's take a look. Some of these look gorgeous. So on the card then. So this is the creative, okay? So you get um, the image, the creative, uh, the number one, the active yang principle, strength, tenacity, dynamism, inspiration, heaven, masculinity, authority, and father. So you get some keywords on there. And if we look in the book, uh, okay, so what's really important to, to note is here um, you get a breakdown of all the symbols on the cards. So for instance, the circles and those three lines, um, circle relates um, to the pictogram. So you have... Uh, pictogram going across the top, then you have the colour and you have the trigram, the name, the Chinese name, um, it's attributes, action, I can't see that without looking here, familiar, developmental, animal, elemental, anatomical, seasonal, directional and numerological and they go all the way across. That's a really useful guide to have with the cards. So let's let's go through the cards um, so you can see them. So the receptive, interesting. Difficulty in the beginning. I love this. You can really tell his artwork here. Youthful folly. It's just gorgeous. Waiting. Conflict. Discipline. Holding together. These are stunning. The taming powers of the small. Treading. Peace. 
So how wonderful to be able to see the image, the keyword, other keywords associated, the meaning in the book, but then also to look up the symbols to find the correspondences. Wow, I love this, stand still, look at that. Companionship. The colours are changing on the yin and yang symbol at the top as well. Prosperity. Modesty. Enthusiasm. Following. Work on what has been spoiled. Approach. Contemplation. Those backs, just look at the backs for me. They're really, even with the wrapper off now, they're just so lovely. Biting through. They feel so nice too. Grace. Splitting apart. The turning point. Oh, that's lovely. Innocence. Taming power of the great. Corner of the mouth. Excess. Look at the vibrant colours. Stunning. The abysmal. Clinging. Influence. Duration. I have a picture to upload onto Instagram. For those people who follow me on Instagram, I'll be uploading a picture tonight. This reminds me of that. You'll see why if you follow Two Spirit two underscore spirit underscore you'll see why retreat wonderful beautiful card great powers progress darkening of the light oh, I love this the family. So true. We are family. Opposition. Obstacles. Look at this little ship. Well, a little boat, I should say. Deliverance. Wow. Let's look at that then. Disease. Some of the words are quite hard to with the font quite hard to make out. I thought it said incense at first, but it's increase.
resoluteness. The attraction of opposites. Gathering together. Pushing upward. Oppression. Two cards together there. The well. How wonderful. Revolution. Cauldron. The arousing. Look at that. Keeping still. Development. The marrying maiden. Abundance. <laughs> I love this. The wanderer. The gentle. Joyous, that's beautiful, as is this. The dispersion, let me look that up in the book. 59. Fifty-nine, yeah, dispersion. It's quite hard to make out. Dispersion, it's a beautiful card though. Limitation. Inner truth. Small and the beautiful. Completion. Wow. And before completion. Wow. I love them. They're really, really nice. Let's just see how they shuffle. My mat is stuck. Oh, nice cup of tea. Okay, so. Yeah, they shuffle really, really nice. They, they are quite large cards. You could do them that way, I suppose. But I have big hands, as I mentioned many, many times. So that way it's fine also. Okay, let's have a look at my cards. We won't look at the book meaning because you do get quite a lot. And we have Standstill as a card. So Standstill, alienation, a stalemate, feeling like you're stagnating, not moving forward, stuck. This isn't all what's in the card, this is me <laughs> adding to withholding, grinding to a halt, insensitivity or mistrust. So if you're feeling like you're at a place of standstill, whether that's physical standstill as in not moving on with your life, your career, your, um, your hobbies, your interests, or you feel that there's a sense of mistrust with another significant or somebody that can help you to move on then it's about addressing that at the moment and being sensitive to other people's needs as well as your own and thinking about how you can break down those barriers and be able to move forward in a way that will bring you peace and joy. Quite a evocative image there. So thank you for coming along on this journey, having a look at the Tao Oracle. 
with this incredible book. So um, I'm looking forward to my two and a half weeks off. I'm going to have my head in so many books and decks. It isn't even, it's going to be great. What am I on about? It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Artwork by Mar Diva Padma, who also did the Osho Zen um, Tarot. Thank you guys. Namaste and blessed be.